Shampoo. That's the the one thing I'm gonna not miss from this trip is side train. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to not listen to side trance anymore. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think my personal favorite is always the bros farm because the bros farm is just there's no place like it you know and just the being out there in the fields there's like cows there there's a lake you have sick jumps people like all digging together and like having a beer around the fire and this year we had seven bands there man bros farm was a lot of work it was crazy, man. Like, we were getting ready to basically throw the biggest party ever. Because, like, you have to think about it. You go to an event, you see all this, oh, tents here, jumps here. But when we show up, there's nothing, you know? Jumps are all messed up. There's nothing, nowhere. And then it was supposed to rain a bit. So we had, like, all this music gear. We couldn't take a chance to, like, have rain on it. So we rented a big ass 20 by 30 tent which was the best idea we had of the trip, I think, because it was raining like a motherfucker, but that's a different story. Hustling all day, like building the jumps, getting him ready. Everyone like helped, everyone made sure he was sick. Everything was prepared, everything was ready for the, for the event. Jumps were all good, we got a little session in, everything was like, momentum was building, you know what I mean? People were like texting us that they were gonna come and stuff. It was cool because it was going on through the day. People were riding, another band was playing, and we got some food, and another band was playing, and people actually rode the jam, and another band was playing. Then we're having some beers, and another band was playing, and seven bands playing, like, uh, what? Okay, so you're doing a music festival. Fuck yeah, man. It's like the Woodstock of uh, mountain biking, man. Like, we get shit going, you know? Uh, start to arrive, everything's perfect. The guys start to warm up, like people were already like, oh shit, look at that, oh, backflip, oh. Then it rains, you know? I just did so much shit going in the rain. Bang, finished. And we're like, fuck, what can we do now? So we wait a bit. And then all the boys just work so hard to get the setup going again. And around five o'clock, we're like, Yes, we beat the weather, everything's good. We think we saved the day. I don't even know if someone had time to drop in, like, and it just flooded the whole place with rain, like, at once, like. <laughs> and that was the end of the riding part for that trip. So the bands kicked in and, you know, party started. The bands this year, the band lineup, like, so much, like, good music. 
I can't tell you which one I like most. It was amazing. Like when the rain stopped too in the evening, so it was sick. And like definitely the band saved Bros Farm for sure. All the energy that we had spare for writing, we put in the party. And yeah, it was wild. Every day was a party, but the party days, like we say today, it's party. Fucking crazy, man. I went, yeah, I shredded the party so hard at Bruce Farm. And the blue cheese started to play, and I was like, oh, I wanna go, I wanna go but I couldn't move because I was so drunk. So I started to... <laughs> in the bed. shape slowly and like some people see like how we make something out of nothing pretty much and then like an hour later there's five bands playing and people jumping on their bikes and like it's just the best you know the, the energy that transmits itself into the events is just magical thank you and thank you for everyone that puts this on you guys are fucking cool I've been riding the same spots for the last 10, 12 years and then having all these guys come through and kind of have their own way of looking at every spot and doing stuff that I didn't even think would ever be possible.